Hey everyone, it's Alex with Be Organizing. I was thinking about more about email lately. I did an email presentation last week for a group and one of the most common things that comes up is, I have too many email accounts. And we see this a lot with our clients as well. And so what we recommend is that you have three accounts, tops. Obviously, there's uh, certain situations if you're part of different associations and things like that where you have to have a separate email, totally understandable. But ideally, what you wanna have is one business account, so one for work, right? One for personal, for all your personal, like your family, friends, things like that, different vacations, you need to have your rewards and your Airbnb confirmations go there. And then the third one, that I think is okay is all for that junk mail. So let's say you want to sign up for some newsletter or maybe a, um, like you sign up for a raffle and you know they're just going to sell that in your information. Well, why don't you put in there a, that one of those, the third email address instead of your personal, your work one, so it doesn't clog your inbox. So having three would be ideal, I think. That's what we recommend. And in terms of getting rid of the ones that you no longer use or you wanna switch over to just having maybe even just one email account. And you can do that by setting up a forwarding to your new email. So from your old email to your new one, you just set up a forwarding. And then you also can set up an auto email responder to go out from your old one that says, hey, I'm no longer using this email, please use this one from here on out. And then you can send a mass email to your um, friends and family letting them know of your email, your new email address. And also you're gonna to wanna to update your accounts. Let's say you have bank accounts tied to that old email address, you're gonna to wanna to go through and update those. But then after you've done that for a while, like after you have that forwarding and the autoresponder on maybe for a few months, then you can shut that email account down. Every email account is a little bit different, every service provider, so if you shut it down, let's say it may not allow you to forward the old email to the new one, and it may not allow you to have the autoresponder up, so I always say it's best to just have that going for a little while before you close it down and then close it down so that you feel comfortable that you've done it. Uh, so hopefully that's helpful. It's kind of, you know, it is a little bit tedious sometimes, but there are ways that you can just set up these autoresponders and this auto forwarding to help. All right. I hope you're doing well. Till next time.